Welcome back to Jim's Jeeps. Today we're going to be digging into the front grill section of this YJ. There's apparently some kind of electrical issue going on. At night when the headlights are on, the blinkers get super bright and they do not blink, but they work fine otherwise. Stay tuned, I'll show you what we do to fix it. All right, to demonstrate what's happening here, um, there's nothing on right now. Let's, let's see what the turn signals do. Okay, left turn signal is on, super dim. Um, almost looks like the marker light. And there's the right hand turn signal, same thing, super dim. Well, that one was working, but uh, you can see the right-hand turn signal or passenger side is super bright. Uh, and the marker light should be actually kind of dim. The headlights are on as well, um, but if I go for, in this example, I'll turn on the right-hand turn signal, you'll see nothing happens. So it just stays lit, but in fact, if we go to the rear of the vehicle, the marker lights on the left and the right hand is flashing. So it's not a flasher issue. I think what's going on is we have a ground issue. We put the new engine in this summer and there are grounding points on the front, here's one right here, and that looks a little bit corroded. I think this harness may not be grounding properly to the electrical system. Jeeps are notorious for bad grounds. Um, they, they just are. Uh, not sure why that is. I think it's basically the grounding points and the number of grounding points. Um, there aren't that many, um, and they do, because of the nature of the vehicle being a truck and off-road and everything like that, I think uh, the grounds tend to possibly get dirty and corroded and so forth. The engine ground, the main engine ground, is right there. Everything else on the vehicle works fine, so I don't think it's a main ground. I think it's a, a branch ground. And um, I've already cleaned up the battery terminals. That's actually going to be another another episode of how to properly crimp and fabricate battery cables so stay tuned for that actually another ground on the left hand side here as well what i'm going to do is loosen up these grounds and uh see if that affects any change i don't believe i took this one off when i did the front grill And we're going to try the right one here as well. 
I have the right hand turn signal blinking right now to see if I can find out if it is a grounding issue or not. Okay, I cleaned up this ground right here, which comes into this harness on the right-hand side, right by the headlight bucket, and uh, I got this turn signal working again. So, let me show you how that's looking now. And yes, with the headlights on. Headlights are on. Right turn signal. Now we're going to repeat the process over here on the driver's side. Same thing. We're going to take this ground off. It's right by the headlight bucket again. Same, same as on the other side. We're going to clean off this ground as well. Make sure that this has good continuity back to this wiring harness here. I got it off, so now take a, a little piece of sandpaper, which is what I got, or emery cloth or something. If there's any corrosion on there, if you can do to polish it off. It is a um, coated terminal, but just get any dirt or junk off. If it's in real bad shape, replace the terminal and reground this wire. Got it pretty well cleaned up, and we're gonna roll it back in. Now, the paint on the front grill, don't worry about that. The screw is making contact on the sides um, of, of the metal. And so that's where your grounding point is. And then the head of the screw also sits right on top of what becomes really like a washer. And you know, you tighten that up and you got a good surface contact and you'll get a fine ground out of that.
Now let's see if we made any difference up front here. No, still not blinking. Well, we know this bulb on the right hand side was blinking properly now that it's warmed up. I'm trying to grab it and put it in this socket here. Although it doesn't appear to me that this bulb is bad. I see the filament. Could be the socket. Let's give it a try. Yeah, well, there you go. Uh, on the right hand or left hand side, the driver's side, it was the bulb. So I need a new 1157 bulb, probably. I think I have one. Let's see if I can dig one of those out. Be right back. Now I said 1157, it's actually a 2057. And put this guy back in here. And we got the parking light on. Let's see if we can get that one blinking. And that one's blinking as well. Let's get this buttoned up and give it a final ops check. And the right hand turn said Google is functioning normally with the headlights on. Let's try the flashers. Flasher circuit is working as designed with the headlights on. Check to make sure their back tail lights are doing the same. And they are. Let's try it with headlights off. And with the headlights off, let's see, everything's still functioning normally. Just goes to show you, a simple ground can make the world of difference in the electrical system. I hope this video has helped you out. So with that, I think we have solved our issue. A uh, very common problem, headlights on. Uh, there's some back feed that goes on in the wiring harness. Um, I, while I have the grounds off, I even had my windshield wipers start working, which uh, makes you wonder where the voltage is going. Um, so really you want to make sure your grounds are cleared up and uh, clean and then uh, you know, put them back on. The next video I think we're going to do is a battery terminal discussion. How to properly clean terminals, make your own cables, what size wire you should use. Um, Etc. And that'll be pertinent for you know for any car, not just a Jeep. But uh, we'll be we'll be focused here on this Jeep. Um, I've already done a little bit of work over there. I want to show you some new crimping technology and uh, using copper terminals and the right kind of wire and things like that. So we'll take a look at that. Thanks for joining us today on Jim's Jeeps. If you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And we will see you on the next video.